Hi everyone, me again. For this video, we're going to be talking about the abdominal pelvic regions and the quadrants and be able to identify which organs are located in which regions and which organs are going to be located in each quadrant. Due to the fact that the abdominal pelvic cavity is so large and contains several important vital organs, in order to easily describe the precise location of these internal organs, the abdominal pelvic cavity is divided into nine abdominal pelvic regions. Let's go over those abdominal pelvic regions. Right over here, we have the right hypochondriac region. Hypo means under, chondriac means cartilage, so it will be below the cartilage from the ribs and that's why it's called hypochondriac and it's right because it is on the right side if we have a right one we're definitely going to have a left one on the left side so left hypochondriac region in the middle we have what we call the epigastric epi means on top gastric means stomach here is your stomach right over here so it's the region above the stomach. In the middle row, we're gonna have the right lumbar region. So this is your lumbar area, your lumbar vertebrae are passing right behind over here. So your right lumbar region, if you have a right, you're gonna have a left, left lumbar region. Right in the middle is what we call the umbilical region. That's where your umbilical button is going to be right over there. Underneath we have what we call the right iliac region. This bone over here which is part of the pelvic girdle is what we call the ilium. So this is your iliac region on the right side, right iliac region. On the left side, left iliac region. In the middle, hypo means like we know from here, under. So hypogastric under the stomach. So this region is definitely under the stomach. So try to understand what the words are telling you and then you're not memorizing. Another subdivision of the abdominal pelvic cavity, which is mainly used for clinical purposes, is more simply divided into four quadrants. Quadrants means four. Therefore, it's easy to differentiate the quadrants from the regions. So here we have the quadrants. These quadrants are known as the right and left, upper and lower quadrants. So over here you have on the right side the right upper quadrant, on the left side the left upper quadrant, then underneath you're going to have the right lower quadrant, and on the left side you're going to have the left lower quadrant. Now, I don't need you guys to memorize all these different organs and where they are located, but you should have an idea of where the main organs are located. I think it is a good idea for you to now turn to yourself and try to identify these organs on you. Yes, on you. These terms, uh, especially when referring to right and left sides of the body, they may seem simple, but they can actually be a little bit confusing. So the confusion comes from the fact that usually when you study this concept, you study using the images, right? But if you notice, the right quadrants are actually located on the left side of the image. And the opposite is true for the left quadrants. The left quadrants are going to be located on the right side of the image. This is why I think it is important for you to study these organs using your own body because the liver for example is going to be located on the right upper quadrant. Most of the liver will be located on the right upper quadrant of our body. Right now place your hand on your right upper quadrant and you're going to feel your liver. See how it is opposite to the image on this slide right over here. So make sure that you don't let this confuse you. Let's go over some of the other main organs that you will need to know 
from this abdominal pelvic region. So we talked a little bit about the stomach when we were talking about the regions. The stomach is right over here. So most of your stomach is going to be located in the left upper quadrant. Behind the stomach is the pancreas, which will also be located in your left upper quadrant. Right underneath the liver, you're gonna have the gallbladder, which will be located in the right upper quadrant. Below these two main structures, the liver and the stomach, you're gonna have part of your transverse colon. So let me just erase some of this. And you're gonna see your transverse colon right over here. So part of it will be on the right upper quadrant and the other half will be on the left upper quadrant. The ascending colon, which is part of the large intestine, is going to be on the right lower quadrant as the descending colon, which will run behind over here, we can't really see on the image, will be located on the left lower quadrant. Now this top half over here of the small intestine is what we call the jejunum. And this will be part located on the right lower quadrant and the other half on the left lower quadrant. Same thing for the bottom half of the small intestine, which we'll call it the ileum, which will have part of it being on the right lower quadrant and the other half being on the left lower quadrant. Then down here, you're going to have the anus as well, with the urinary bladder as well, on this pelvic region. And these are going to be, because they're located in the mid-sagittal region, so right down the line, they're going to be divided into half. So half will be on the right side, and the other half will be on the left side. And these are mainly the organs that you need to know as of now.